Right back where you was at before. Or, or it can be dangerous. So if you're not changing your habit, yes, it can be dangerous because then you could rip something, you could mess up the lap big hand, whatever the situation may be. Like, I know someone who probably got it done twice and they're, they're bigger um, and they got it done twice. But I'm just like, you got to have a changed m- mindset because if your mindset not changed, you still won't eat the way you ate before. Just because your stomach's smaller, it just means that your stomach can't hold as much. But if you keep eating... It's just going to expand and grow and either cause you some medical issues or you just want to keep, stay big. Yeah. All right, but but my like... cousin has done it. My cousin did it and she lost a lot of weight and she has definitely changed her eating. So she and she, so she's fine. She's healthy. But you have to have a changed mindset and it's, you know, you can't eat the same way that you was eating before. So I think you guys only talk about the people that have like issues with eating but there's are people there there really are people that don't eat a lot and just have a very hot a low metabolism, low metabolism. yeah they just gain weight because it just it always packs on it's not really digested fully or whatever whatever the case may be you know what i mean so there's people that have actual issues where they just gain weight you know out of nowhere you know regardless of how much that, they eat. so would the doctor allow them to get it then? Exactly. Because if you, you know what I'm saying? Because the, the, you do have to meet with a doctor, and I think you have to meet with them for a period of time True. for them to assess your even your um True. your candidacy. Like you, this is a, it's a whole process. Like you can't just go in and say, I mean, you could go to certain countries and probably get it done, but you can't. In a, in like in America, like you can't be like, oh, I want the Latvian surgery. And they're like, oh, okay, we're gonna schedule you in two months. Like mm-hmm. they schedule you out, and you gotta meet with them and talk mm-hmm. to them about like, and you gotta go to like some type of counseling, not like in depth, but you like it is about like because it's a mental thing. But I'm wondering if somebody that has that doesn't have an issue with eating but has like a slow mentality, will they even be a candidate? So if we're if we're talking about doctors and ethics, then we talking about the wrong oh, yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're you're talking right. about the wrong thing. Right, because doctors, doctors don't care about bad. nothing besides getting the money from right. you. Some doctors, not all most, doctors. Most most doctors, doctors. All, most, most doctors, most doctors don't most doctors don't want to heal you. They want to keep well, you. Right. They want to keep you. Uh, uh, you know, being prescribed to some kind of medication that way they get a bag from you and get a bag from the the medical company supplying the medicine. So it's not like they really want to actually cure your symptoms. They just want you to be in debt or a slave to them and mm-hmm. the pharmaceuticals. Right. So, I, and, and, and then let's say there is a good doctor. So I'm not going to do it. All that person is going to do is go find a bad doctor. Yes. That's They're about to find a bad doctor. It's going to do it. So. Right. Well, I guess. So then maybe, I just know that I have to, like I said, I only know from other people's experience that is a process, right? And so I believe that doctors can turn away people, but like you said, there are going to be doctors that's going to be like, you know, do it. I feel, I feel the same way, though. That's one of the reasons why it took me so long to get my gallbladder removed, because I was like, you just split. Like, oh, you need to just take this out. Like, there was no discussion. I was like, is there any other options? Like, oh, you just need to get it removed. Yeah, okay. You don't need it. I said, well, how the hell do I need it if I was born with it? Yeah. So Like, I, I mean, it was just obsolete. So who got who got your gallbladder? Listen, somebody got no. I don't know. According to them, yeah, that thing. Somebody, was yeah, facts. That, 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 that's that's organ. Uh, what's that? What do they call that? Harvesting. Oh, exactly. Yeah. They they yeah. snatching organs from black people and, and giving mm-hmm. it. Man. Come on, man. I don't give nothing. I don't know. Man. I thought about. I I definitely thought about it, but then I was like, the way they was the way this junk hurt. I don't know. This junk good for anybody. Yeah, that's true too. That's true. If you gotta get it out, you gotta get it out. You know. Yo, yo, on y'all licenses, do y'all got that? Go back. I don't think they still even. No. Yeah, I, ne- I never did. Yeah, I never no. did that. I was no, like, no. hell no. Stop man. it. That means that that means that means that means they won't resuscitate. That means they won't resuscitate. That means if you're like on the cusp of being dead or not, they won't that bring you back to life. That. I promise you that means that. I promise you. If you get into an accident, car accident, and you're like, it's a 50 50 chance, they they take you. They take everything they can out of your body before it becomes dead. Because if you're dead, it's like eating a dead animal. You can't. Get nothing nutritious from a dead animal. Yeah, I don't think so. All right, put put, put on your license. Put on I, your I, license. I, yo, I yo, my sister, when you go to sleep, yo, my sister made the mistake of, of putting that on there. Like she like she regretted it too. She was like afterwards, she was like, "Damn, I should never did that, man." But she made that mistake, man. She's an organ donor on there. Who, Sab? No, Amber. Oh uh, no, nah, Amber should know better, yo. Well, yeah, Sab, Sab definitely know better. Yeah, she know better. Amber, 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 knows better, made, say, Amber knew better after the fact. You know what I'm saying? Like trying to be nice to people. Yeah, it was too nice. I think they would nice. only do it if you're brain dead. Oh no. 
I don't think like if you can, if there's a chance of being safe, I don't think, but if you're brain dead, I think they, like they'll do everything to keep you alive so that. You, know, you, you must not realize the world we live in right now, man. Yeah. Listen, I, you know, I know. I'm just talking about in terms of not getting into the conspiracy side of things. You must have never, so you've never been on a dark web before. You've never been on a dark web to see how much these organs go for? Shh. Mm-hmm. Tell me. Like things is like you can get you can get a bag, like a bag, you can get a bag. <laughs> man. Oh, a bag. Everybody's about the bag t- nowadays. So I'm not selling no organs though. So you better go to Columbia and get your car set, cause you you done. Listen, I'm not, I'm gonna be done. That'll be it. Listen, I was watching this TikTok and this guy was talking about how he was in love with this girl and they they hit it off and blah, blah, blah. And then a year later, they went out to some country, some country, him and their friends. The girl goes to use the bathroom. I think it was in Mexico. Not Mexico. It could have been Mexico. The girl goes out to use the bathroom. I don't know why she go by herself. There ain't no, I'm not going nowhere by myself in a foreign country. But she leaves, goes to the bathroom. They couldn't find her. They were searching for her three days. They were searching for her and then it was time for them to leave. He said, on the way to the um, airport. He happens to look over and sees her sitting in the car. And, oh, I, I saw that. In a car. Yeah, yeah. You heard? You saw that one? Yeah, yeah. Yo, she he looked, he looked like she was. They were trying to get her attention, and so then they get to the border patrol or whatever. And um, the guy was like, he was like, yo, that's the girl. That's the girl. That's what we was looking for. Look, all of this, whatever. Why they pulled that girl out the car? She was dead and stuffed yeah. with drugs. Yep. That's crazy. Like, it was, yep. Isn't that crazy? And she didn't, he was like, she didn't look, she was just sitting up, like, sitting up, regular, but just, you know, kind of just staring ahead, obviously, because she was fucking dead, but I was like, yo, this is, like, this world is freaking crazy, man. That's why you gotta be careful when you go to these other countries sometimes. For real. Countries, man. For real. Listen, I don't care what nobody say, I'm tour. if I go anywhere, I'm staying right in the tourist area, I'm not right. trying to go and explore nothing, and nobody, nope. Not at all. I mean, you're not really even safe there because remember really five, six years ago in the Dominican Republic, uh, people went out to the Dominican Republic and mm-hmm. mad, mad Americans are dying because they were drinking liquor. Yeah. And all the bottles were like fucking poisoned, I should say. Oh, mm-hmm. hell no. Yeah, like mad, mad people dropping dead. You know what I mean? So, mad people dropping dead. It was crazy. It was crazy. People just dying, like people disappearing. It was, I'm like, I don't know. Mm hmm. I mean, even just recently with the people, the uh, the uh, the chick that went to Mexico for the medical procedure, the, the black, you know, the people that went to Mexico, that they thought they they said they uh, misidentified. Oh, yeah, yeah, them. I heard about that. Yeah, you know, but the patients, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Which one is it? So the cartel, the cartel and all that. Yeah, the cartel pulled up on these people that they thought was somebody else, supposedly killed two of them, took two of them hostage, and uh, like. The other two that they killed, they harvested them. You know, they they took them out, they they gutted them out. They they did with them, and the other two they held them hostage for a little while, and then they sent them back after America made a big stink about it. it was like, yeah, we better come get them. And the cartel mm-hmm. didn't want that problem, so they sent them back. Right. Like, oh well, it was a it was a misunderstanding. But at the same time, America didn't go down there and like try to, you know, run down the cartel because they know they can't do that. They really can't do that in Mexico. Right. Like that, right? Hell no. They have no jurisdiction. Yeah, and trust me, Mexico have more weapons than we think they do, man. Facts. Mm-hmm. The cartels don't play with out there, man. Yeah. Cartels, like, that's why Arizona, Mexico, New Mexico, uh, California, like Southern California, like it's it's, it's lawless out there, man. This is cartel, right. cartel territory, right? It's cartel yeah. country. Yeah. It, it it basically is Mexico. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. So, I used to, I lived in Texas. I lived in Texas. That was Mexico. That was predominantly Mexicans, man. Yeah. It's like it's like eighty percent. Well, San Antonio is eighty percent Mexican. Oh, San Antonio is wild. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I forgot you was out there, man. I, f- I forgot about that for a second, yo. You all numbered out there, and they don't really, they don't really rock. You know what I'm saying? They be calling you Mayate. They, they they say Mayates and all that. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, wow, they're trying to lock you up, yo. They're trying. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, they, they, bro. I don't they're know. I don't, I don't know if my ex told told them I was black or or whatever, man, but. They was they was on the hunt. They was trying to get me, man. It was like he's really? he's an MS thirteen. <laughs> <MS-13. laughs> Hell no, man. Hey, boss, man. I was you know for like for weeks I was looking for you, man. For weeks I was looking for you, dog. I can't find you. Yeah. That got me sick. <laughs>